Welcome to Star Season Star Breeds on TikTok and social media. Today is January 25th, 2024, and it's a double day on the Dream Spell calendar. Let's look at the calendar online. Let's look. Um, this is on I can do something.com slash my calendar slash daykeeper. Um, Thursday's Oracle. Today is Red Rhythmic Earth. And the rhythmic tone is this number six up here. This uh, six is usually about balance and harmony. And it looks like you're guiding yourself today. That's why it's a double day. Um, people with that are born with on the first day of the way spell calendar, uh, the sixth day and the eleventh day, um, all guide themselves. So nobody can really tell you what to do. They're already doing it. Um, today also. Uh, the complement is the wind, white wind, which is about our essence and our soul. <clears throat> our breath is the wind um, that keeps us alive. Uh, that's what this tea is in the Mayan calendar, our breath. So many doors were made with this tea in the Mayan culture. Um, so I'm a white wind, white spectral wind, so I could be your complement today. And uh, the blue hand is your challenge. So beware of the hand that finds you. Beware of any blue handers. Um, I believe Biden's a blue hand or maybe Trump. And then hidden means like uh, the hidden secret knowledge. So maybe you planted a seed of some kind of knowledge that you hold. Um, so that's being kept from others today. And I organize in order to evolve, balancing synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation with the rhythmic tone of equality. I'm guided by my own power double. So remember, you're guided by your own power today. The power of manifestation is doubled. So let's take a look. So let's get um, to an oracle reading. Again, with this light worker oracle. Because it's a also the full moon today, the full wolf moon. So let's see if this matches the calendar today. If we've seen it, any signs, some of your synchronicities. Whoa, water fell. I'm not going to use that. Usually I take that as an omen or a two fell. Water and alchemical mutation. So maybe you're trying to alchemize today and not doing that. So I'm not taking any spiritual baths. So that's also a sign that you need to cleanse your energy. I've already meditated and prayed and cleansed my energy today. So that can't be me. Eternal now. Okay, let me look that up in the book and I'll be right back. Okay, this is kind of a long one, so I'm going to do it as fast as I can. <laughs> Within you is great strength and courage. However, just because you can manage to keep going when you are drained or stressed, it doesn't mean you have to do so. You are encouraged by your higher guidance to request assistance in letting go of tension within your mind and body. You will gain energy through this release and perhaps even see, see things in a new and more optimistic light. Shifting into a more present, relaxed, and enjoyable state of being will help you overcome the past and successfully create your future. Dear one, have your thoughts become trapped in the pain of the past? Have they been drifting towards possible futures? If too much of your energy is pulled away from the present moment, you diminish the power you have to create what your heart desires. Creation doesn't happen in the past or in the future. It happens in the here and now. And here and now by the choices you make in each moment. Even now in reading this message, you are choosing to be present, to bring your energy into the eternal now, stimulating the law of attraction into action. As you relax in this moment, trusting that the past is over and the future shall be truly wonderful, you can more easily energize your dreams, visions, and heartfelt desires. The universe believes that you are deserving of, this, of a spiritual gift. 
To accept the gift in whatever form it takes, you will need to be present to have enough stillness of mind to recognize it. You'll need to have enough inner peace to accept it, to take it inside where it can nourish, inspire, and heal you. The form of this gift will be perfect for you, and the way that it comes shall be perfect too. It is being orchestrated by divine timing now. It will assist you to take the next step on your soul journey successfully. Your gift might be a piece of guidance, an inner knowing that changes your outlook permanently. It might help you to truly know in your heart that your divine destiny is already unfolding and your spiritual success is inevitable. It is not a question of if, only a matter of when. Your gift might be an amazing opportunity that comes out of the blue. It could be a meeting that will pro prove significant to your unfolding life path. It could be a new relationship or new connection with a community. It might be a life-changing teaching, a deep healing dream, or an actual object. Spirit is unlimited in its willingness and ability to give to you. You need only be open to receive, and you do so by bringing yourself back to the present moment. Stillness of mind and inner peace are only possible when you are present in the internal now. This is where you will find what you are seeking. So let the past be done. Allow the future to take care of itself. Center your awareness in this moment. You are safe. You are breathing gently now. You are here, where you belong, at exactly the right time. All things serve your greater good. Nothing is wrong. You are doing a fantastic job. All is in process. In this moment, there is just the peace and comfort of the eternal now. Relax, trust, be nourished. If you have been worrying about the past or the future, this oracle comes with guidance to let it be. All is working out just as is meant to. Even the things you don't quite understand or find hard to, re to accept. In time, you will know the perfection of all that is happening in your life. You'll feel so lucky, blessed, grateful, and truly loved for now, however, it is enough to just be there, here, and breathe. Eternal now. So that kind of sounds like messages from heaven. And that was another thing I was thinking about with the, with this being a double day with the earth. Um, being that it is a new moon, I mean a full moon. Um, we call earth mother and the moon mother. So two mothers, I was thinking, uh, or our mother in heaven and our home in heaven and our home on earth. Could also be um what's doubled today. And let's see, oh I forgot to mention what Earth Watch. The key words for um red earth are evolve, synchronicity, and navigation. So how you navigate today, how you um get through hard times. I think that was a good oracle. Okay, now it's the invocation. You can screenshot that if you'd like. I don't know if you could see that very well on TikTok. Okay. I give myself permission to be free from past pain and future worry. There is so much goodness and so many gifts for me now. I choose to dwell in the peace of this moment, where all is unfolding according to a secret divine perfection. A unique divine destiny is manifesting with loving care. I open to the relief and reassurance that comes to me now. I am loved and provided for, and all is happening for my greatest fulfillment. I invite divine unconditional love to awaken peace in my heart and in the hearts of all beings. Through my own free will, so be it. You can always say that three times. So that was your oracle for today, the eternal now. We definitely have to be in the now to keep evolving. So that was a great, great card to get for today. <laughs> Um, I'll be back uh, probably this week sometime for another double day. So thanks for watching Star Seeds and Star Breeds here on TikTok and social media. Um, peace, love, and light. See you again. Remember to subscribe to our Facebook group page.